Today we're visiting a young entrepreneur called Alexia. Six months ago, she literally sold her car to have the financial means to start a business. And she launched Baby Apparel. She now moved into the uh, fashion industry and you're just gonna love what she's been up to over the past few months. So sit back, enjoy our rapid fire Q&A. Question number one, when and how did you start your business? I started my business nine months ago. It was actually during the hard lockdown that I started. So I started from home. What is the favorite part about your business? The favorite part would be that I can do what I like and just create products that I love and work from home. Why did you choose entrepreneurship? I chose it because I didn't want to work for a boss and now I can really do what I love and create new things which I'm passionate about. Question number four. If there's one thing you wish you knew in the beginning stages of your business that you know now, what would it be? It would be that it isn't as easy as it looks and it takes time to make money and there's a lot of hard work that goes into it. And yeah, some days you work 12 hour days and you don't actually get paid for it. What is the best and worst advice you've ever gotten? The best advice would be that you should do what you love and money will follow. And the worst advice would be that you should follow a, a career that you think will earn a lot of money and you actually hate it. What was your biggest failure to date? To be honest, I don't actually have a lot of big failures as I'm still young. However, there has been a few products that didn't actually work out how I planned it to. Number six, if you could instantly become an expert in something, what would it be? I would love to be an expert in fashion design. What advice would you give to new entrepreneurs on how best to start? Um, I'll just tell them to just do it. Just try and be creative. How do you go about marketing your business, especially online? Um, for my specific business and industry, um, we do a lot of social media marketing. What is a dream or goal that you've yet to achieve? I would love to export my products. Um, so hopefully we can do that soon. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about England first. Okay. What does success mean to you? Success is just really doing what you love and being passionate, passionate about it and hopefully earning a lot of money because of it. What is the one thing you'd like to change about your business? Um, currently, it's just me. I have no employees. So the next step would be to employ a few people and to delegate some of the work. Do you have any regrets? No, no regrets. <laughs> What do you enjoy doing in your spare time? I enjoy playing with my dogs, walking with my dogs and training. What would you say is your number one strength and weakness? My number one strength, I would say, is creativity. And number one weakness is um, communication. If you had all the money in the world, what would you do with your time? Of course, I would love to travel. But more specifically, I would love to travel to different countries and um, look at their textiles and cultures and actually incorporate it into my business. Number 17, if you could change your industry right now, to what would it be and why? I actually started out in a baby brand industry and currently I've been shifting towards more of a fashion industry. So at the moment, I'm happy where I am. Number 18, what is the biggest challenge that you currently have in the business? The biggest challenge at the moment is the scarcity of wool in South Africa, especially the chunky wool that I use for my products, as um, the current supplies usually go to China and due to COVID they can't go there anymore. Okay, number 19, what's the one thing that gets you up and going on the bad days when things are tough? I would say it's the positive client feedback. Last and final question. What are the three core elements of what keeps your business going? I would say creativity, adaptability, and hard work. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask Alexia about her business, 
please let us know or comment below. We'd love to engage with you guys. If you think your business is eligible to be on Unscripted CEO, send us a direct message. We'd love to add more value to our users and of course to aspiring entrepreneurs. So click below, let's get in touch.